Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're the number one reviewer for theatre in the UK on YouTube and Google, and we thank you for tuning in. This week we're on the road in Bromley for opening night of Curtains, starring Jason Manford. This show is a classic whodunit. It's the story of a murder and an investigator who wants to be in show business. It's very in. It's sort of like a poor man's producers with good songs by Kanda and Ebb and a brilliantly written and witty script by Rupert Holmes. This show has so much going for it, but I'm sad to say it has not been a box office hit before it's even started. Theatres up and down the country are virtually empty and it's hard to see how this show can turn it around. How can I sell this to make you buy a ticket when we were Rockies on the road selling out and tickets are over £40? Well, all I can tell you is it's a great night of entertainment. It's a beautifully staged show, although not massively spectacular. This hasn't got Broadway scale, but it has got a beautiful team of hugely professional talent. Jason Manford, as we know, is a hugely popular stand-up, although he doesn't seem to find much funny in real life, but plays the wannabe chubby star perfectly. Pure class is Carly Stenson, who plays Georgia. This lady, of course, has got a wonderful voice. Doesn't necessarily get the last, but sets up them in droves. What is hugely impressive about this is the orchestra. They've put nine in the pit and the orchestra sound fabulous. It's sort of old school music, this. This is not trying to be contemporary. It is playing to, as I say, a cross between Spamalot and the producers. If you like both of those, you'll probably love this show. Jason Manford is, as we know, a stand-up comedian. He's not the greatest actor in the world, but he is a celebrity and they put him on the poster to sell tickets. He did a great job as well as he could have done in the role, considering he's not an actor or a singer. Whereas, of course, Rebecca Locke, Samuel Holmes and, of course, Carly are three West End pros. Congratulations also to Leah Barbara West and Alan Burkett, who added to this huge ensemble brilliantly. It is a big cast and they've put a ton of money into this. One wonders how they're going to make any money. Nevertheless, if you want a good night out, you can't go wrong with Candor and Ebb if you like classical musicals done in an old time styly. This is a classic whodunit that is great relief for older people. I can't see young audiences falling for this show. It has somewhat aged. Aria Duba plays Aaron Fox. Interestingly, Andy Coxon is the alternate Aaron Fox, which means they share the role. Unbelievable to me that Andy doesn't get to play this role permanently. What a star that guy is. Nevertheless, Ari is likeable and does a proficient job. The whole cast are incredibly professional and give it 100%. Probably the most impressive thing about this production is the choreography. Clearly, Alistair David has worked incredibly hard with a team of varying standards. Obviously, Jason wasn't booked to be Torval and Dean. It's shocking to me that this show has not sold, whether it's Birmingham, Manchester, Darlington or Sunderland. Somehow the public just don't get what it is. And this is the problem with touring theatre in 2019. You put on a show called Curtains and you wonder whether the producers should have pulled themselves together and realised that people are not looking for plays with music that they haven't heard of. It's just a sign of the times in a year when The Entertainer's been a massive flop. Little Miss Sunshine couldn't sell a ticket. Even Priscilla is struggling to sell. This has been one of the biggest anticlimaxes of the year, and it's a shame. Can I highly recommend this compared to other stuff? It is worth seeing, but here's the problem. Price. It's basically £40 a ticket for a show that you might not know and you probably haven't heard of, so it is a risk. It's a great night out. The script is incredibly tight. The laugh out loud moments come regularly. The music is formulaic, but familiar. I don't think you'll leave the theatre singing any of the songs. And Jason gives it his all to sell this show. This year I think will be a turning point for musicals like this. I've got a feeling next year we'll see fewer of them, fewer risks. It seems like the punters can't get enough of the classics and stuff they know they're going to enjoy for the price. Theatre is just too expensive and at 40 quid a ticket I think Curtains has confused its audience Whereas We Will Rock You, Mamma Mia, The Lion King, Book of Mormon are all guaranteed five-star nights out if that's what you're into. Again, the most expensive tickets in Bromley are 45 quid. The cheapest tickets are 35 quid. This is a lot of money for people. But we wish this tour well. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're the number one reviewer for theatre in the UK and Las Vegas, and you can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.